Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living and return worth having. When I do the beginning of my standard audio cast, I'm speaking from truth. That in the world we have to usually have a job or run a business in order to make an income or create a business revenue that provides for our life. It gives us shelter, it gives us sustenance for the food that we need to buy and eat, and it gives us, well, a service to provide to the world. When we're living in homelessness and still trying to conduct ourselves as a regular person, it can be a bit of a challenge. You have no place to stay in the rain, in the sleet, or in the snow. You have no place to go when you want to go because someone's already stole your vehicle that was fully paid for for your business. And that means you're stuck walking places or rolling places depending on how your health goes. But openly you have a lot of people who want to say something in their mind about you, but they don't take the time to actually talk to you. The ones that do take the time to talk to you are usually trying to play with you or trying to play you into some sort of mental health situation, some sort of physical health situation, or some sort of ridiculous situation that's just for their entertainment. The law around here is ridiculous, and what I mean by that is that we have ordinances that protect the homeless people, and yet there are police officers that monstrously stalk, mob, and harm people. We also have students of the Catholic background that I guess got some information about how they could help people, but they decided to make a joke out of it. We've got young men in their 20s trying to mosey up on you like they're a cowboy and tell you that they're going to buy you some dinner without even actually asking your name or what you might like to eat. We also have a lot of other young, nice, inebriated young men who try to come up and play you with their leftovers. What I know about most of us guys who are in the streets, whether we're doing it as a profession, don't believe it that in quote unquote, or whether we're doing it because we have to, like me, is that we might graciously accept the food, but I'm going to immediately throw it away. First of all, it's a time of COVID, and I don't know who the hell you are today. Second of all, it's not safe in a time of human tra trafficking to receive someone's food. And I received the sandwich one time when I was starving from a little Catholic girl who lives just over there, and I was out for three days. I didn't appreciate that. I've also had blacks and whites playing in my cell phone that were in my pockets when I was asleep. I don't appreciate that. There's a total fucking federal violation of the law. Do we go into your house and put our hands in your purse or in your pockets to take your phones and walk you with them? I don't think so. I've experienced an incredible amount of abuse since I've been here. Some from related relatives of sort who played in and played in at night and lied about what they were doing here. And from total strangers who thought they would cut my beard that used to be down to here for my faith. We would never do that to a Jewish uh, priest, but apparently they thought it was okay to do it to a pagan priest. They've tied my beard in a knot, they've twisted it in different ways, and that's a black man's game of I'm going to be in power over you. There are maintenance men here that are ugly and vile and so it's totally shit on anything anyone tries to do that's out of the ordinary for them because some little snot-nosed girl calls out of ridiculousness about life. You see, there's people who are worse than me on the street and most of them don't know it. But that's not because they don't know it, it's because they don't see it, they don't have to deal with it, and they don't have to live with it. Trying to put a business together when you're living in homelessness is a bit of a challenge because you still have to get up, you still have to find a place to clean yourself and keep yourself sanitary, if you will, and clean and good hygiene, and you still have to find a way to get yourself fed if business is not going well enough or if it's raining and there's no opportunity to network instead. Most young people on the campus do not have any concept of how to network for their job. And an old guy like me tries to give him humble suggestions because I used to actually go and preach, teach, and present at job readiness and job change events that were in my community. I was asked to speak and I spoke a couple times because what I do for people is market them. That is truly my business. I market people, I market programs, I market products, and I also market politics. That is my true calling. I'm also a professional trainer and a master educator in the Japanese language. But those are pieces of information about me that are none of your business. How I make a living is between me and that person who decides to pay me for whatever reason they pay me. But as a polite person, I can tell you that this community here is so back asswards and small that it's sort of sad that God led me here at all. But what I'm telling you is that being homeless is not easy, but it is doable, and you can still find inner peace in the challenges of life, of not worrying, knowing where you're going to take a poo, not knowing when your next meal is going to come, and not knowing who's going to try to help you or just play with you for some form of entertainment for their little 20-year-old mind. In life, we have moments of time to teach the world to sing. 
in perfect harmony or destroy the world with our stupid ideology about life because our parents of influence and affluence failed to teach us about the realities of life. We have a lot of young people heading into the workforce a semester or a year away and they haven't even begun to start to look for a job. That is foolishness in a world of COVID. It's not hard to get a job, it is challenging to get a job. But today we have to use technologies to get a job. And we have international foreign people who are hacking our phones, ruining our computers, and thinking they're just having a gay old time on us. We also have monstrous police officers that violate federal law in stalking, mobbing, and harming us physically, sexually, and inappropriately. So when I talk about homelessness, I'm not going to talk about anything that's more than the truth. But it is doable, it is possible, and there sometimes are good food ministries that actually help us. But there are several that have big names that don't do a fucking thing for people who are truly homeless. They help the impoverished, but they don't have food appropriate in the right volume or size for people who are truly living in the streets. Life is not easy for a homeless person, it's true, but it is something that one can work out of if there was a true system to help people out of homelessness. Not some constant belief that everyone has some sort of mental health issue, some sort of codependency issue, or some sort of ridiculous impoverishment issue. It's true, there are people who have poverty of mind. I am not one of those. A poverty mind person is always jealous of what other people has, always pawing at other people's property, always putting their hands in someone's property bag, always presuming that because they're homeless I can take whatever I want to because I just gave you a tip. But they want to do it at night in the shadows of the world. The darkness overcomes no one unless they allow it to. The drug use I see in young kids who were started the year really with positive life, just trying to be a player and a big boy, turning them into drug addicts is something that is very sad for me to watch. There are some young men I don't even bother talking to anymore because I can see what's been happening to them. That they slipped in the cracks because no one has said, get the fuck home, get the fuck into school, you 15-year-old bum. And isn't that a shame? And we have 11 years who like to run over me with their bicycles on a walking lane that's a public sidewalk. We have monstrous people who live in the community who think they've got something to say because they see someone homeless. And what I want to say is, if you think you're so smart about homelessness, spend a day in homelessness. No money, no cash, no tools, just the blankets. Try it for a week. I think it should be a requirement of every military person, and I believe it's sort of a part of their training, but I absolutely believe in defunding the police. They're a ridiculous group, and they are the lowest of the low when it comes to the protection of our world. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth about what is and what is in homelessness. And homelessness is simply living a life, trying to produce a life, trying to produce a career, trying to produce a business without a home, without a safe place to shower, a safe place to do laundry, and a good place to eat. Quality, clean, hygienic food.